uh, here uh, i will show you today an uh, another example of how to convert from continuous data system to uh, sample data system so uh, as we uh, saw in our last example that uh, the continuous data system is given by x dot this x dot equals to ax plus bu uh, and y equals to cx so uh, we also saw that how we can calculate phi and ah and this is the formula phi phi calculating phi uh, and uh, here as we saw in our last video h is our uh, sampling interval and a is our this matrix so uh, we would calculate it using laplace uh, inverse of si minus a whole inverse uh, so as we can see that uh, we are following it here si as we saw in our video is s uh, multiplied by identity matrix uh, that would give us this s0 0s so uh, minus a uh, this this matrix is our a so this is a and this is si uh, so uh, we subtract these two matrix and we get s plus 1 0 minus 1 <coughs> and s uh, we are taking its inverse so inverse of 2 by 2 matrix uh, is uh, adjoint of matrix divided by uh, determinant of matrix so the determinant is s into s plus 1 uh, while the adjoint is s0 1 s plus 1 so here we have divided this uh, this uh, solve this uh, I mean that we have divided this 2 by 2 matrix by s plus 1 into s uh, so here we get this thing now we have to find the Laplace inverse of this whole matrix. Uh, we know that Laplace of s plus 1 or s plus 1 is e minus <coughs> h. Uh, this would be e minus t but uh, as our uh, sampling, uh, time is our sampling interval. So we are taking it as e minus h. Next we have to find the uh, Laplace in, uh, inverse of 1 over s into s plus 1. Uh, we are doing it so by using the partial fraction we have converted this into a or s plus b or s plus 1 uh, so we are solving this uh, I'm pretty sure you can solve this by so yourself uh, and we get a equals to 1 and uh, b equals to minus 1 so we get uh, putting the a and b into this equation uh, we get 1 uh, 1 over s into s plus 1 equals to 1 over s minus 1 over s plus 1 now we have to take the laplace inverse of this equation so laplace inverse of 1 over s is 1 and 1 over s plus 1 is 1 uh, e minus h <coughs> so this is our laplace inverse so uh, similarly if we cancel these two terms we get 1 over s and the laplace inverse of uh, 1 over s is 1 so we have found the Laplace inverse of all the entries uh, of that matrix and now we can write our phi as e minus h 0 1 1 minus e minus h and 1 so we have calculated phi now we have to calculate the gamma so gamma is given by integral 0 to h e, e power uh, I mean this is phi that we just calculated here right here this is phi uh, dh and we then multiply it by b matrix so here we have solved that we have uh, integrated uh, the every entry of the matrix and this is our b so this is b uh, this came from the system equation uh, right here right here this is b from the system equation so we would solve this now and we get this term right here so uh, we take its integral and integral of e minus h would be minus e minus h and integral of 1 would be h and integral of e minus h would be uh, minus e minus h minus minus comes out to be plus and e minus h we have the uh, limit from 0 to h so we put the limits and we get phi gamma like this so we have found uh, uh, so we have found uh, phi and gamma now we have to just plug this into our discrete time system 
uh, equation of the discrete sample data system so the uh, equation would be x into k h plus h or we can write uh, uh, let's try to like this so equals to this is our phi that we just calculated x of k plus gamma uh, here we would have u of k u of k h so we have again converted our system from uh, continuous data system to sample data system and this is this was the second example and if you uh, didn't understood anything in this example then you should uh, refer back to my previous video uh, where I uh, try to explain all of this in a little bit more detail so I hope you understood it uh, please like the video comment uh, if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section and subscribe my channel if you haven't already thank you uh, have a blessed day